That's last time. That's clean. I mean, it was higher last time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're slew fishing for striped bass right now and we're out here i'm using uh this tokyo rig which i haven't tried before but it's actually made by this guy right here so i'm gonna add his instagram down below if you want to check it out and basically what this is it's like a drop shot type and you you see it in the water you can you can jig it up and down and it moves super nice so it's you can vertical jig it vertical jig any type a jig will do see? yeah yeah that's pretty so basically it's got this fluke tail right here and it's got these uh th this skirt and that in the water when you flick it up uh glides down really nicely and what's actually weighing it down is this one ounce sinker that's clipped down right here so you know this part is actually weightless and it's a really cool way to go after these bass we're gonna have some casting here see what we can do see what we can pull up so i'm casting right by this point right now so uh, the points are pretty pretty solid spots that tend to hold a lot of the fish you know they're, they're not really evenly distributed out here so you want to target the spots where they most likely will be and right now it's the fall run for the striped bass out here you know uh late october november is when all those stripers come from the ocean they go into the delta and they also go right here in the south bay into the sloughs so uh, this the best time of year to catch the big stripers we'll see how we do today and it's not real deep water right here it's only three or four feet and uh it's a mud bottom so this is just getting dragged and you can see i'm casting it out there and then i can either I'm just gonna jig it and reel it like so i can switch it up and just give it a straight retrieve and that sinker will just drag on the bottom and the fluke will stay really really nicely a couple of inches above it and the nice thing about flukes is that you barely barely have to move it for them to have a lot of action to them so you know the twitches i'm giving them are just little pulses and that'll make that thing look really really nice Gonna do a little bit of trolling. So just cast it, keep the rod tip down, and the boat's moving forward, so that's all the action it needs. Just be sure to keep the rod tip down because if you lift it, that thing is already kind of in the middle of the water just because of the boat's speed. So if you lift your rod at all, your lure will just come up and you don't want it to be right on the surface for this. So Keep it down. Just got to this new spot. And basically what we're doing is we're just finding uh, all the little coves, all the little edges, turns, all the little structure where the fish like to hide. And then just go from one to one. And eventually, hopefully we'll find some fish. But yeah, I mean, covering water will do the trick. You can see how we have like the main, the main slough right here. And then there's that little, kind of pool and then this little pool and these are these are great for for fish because they'll come out here to hide out from the current and also ambush predators so they'll be waiting right at the turn so if you come upon one of these you know just give it a light little cast in there and around it and just all around those turns you know the big predators are waiting for little bait fish and that's where the majority of your predators are going to be congregated you know not not in the middle of the river No luck in this area, so we're just gonna pop this back there, troll, and yeah, see if we can run into some. That's a fish. That's a fish. Felt this guy bump a couple of times before. Yeah, that's on the Tokyo rig right there. Nice, nice, nice. All right, this. <laughs> yep, there we go. First fish. I think it's a striper. It's fighting, fighting stronger than a large mouth. But let's just, let's see where it is. Let's get this guy in the net. Yeah, striper. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, swallow that Tokyo rig. Look at that. Nice. Let's get this guy de hooked and we'll see what we're gonna do with him. All right, here's our striper. I'm gonna get this guy de hooked. And we caught him literally 10 seconds after we started trolling. We hadn't really started and I just felt some bumps. Thought it was structure. And then this guy just absolutely choked that Tokyo rig. You can see that thing is all the way down there. This thing was not coming loose. There we go. There we go. Look at that. We got the rig. This is what got him right here. Look at this Tokyo rig. Fish Bob and Skillet right there. Tokyo rig. I'm going to add the Instagram in the description below. So if you guys want one, you know, look out for it. Because this thing really did nicely. You saw it swimming in the water and now you have it with a fish. Here's our striper. This is definitely a keeper. I'm going to measure him really fast though. Just going to use this thing. That's 20. So we're going to want to keep this guy. Keep fishing. And then hopefully we'll pick up some more because it's a pretty schooly sized striper. So hopefully it'll be more around but really 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 pretty fish and just absolutely choked that tokyo rig so let's keep fishing All right here we go let's get this thing back out there look at this really really nice and we just turn around so we're gonna troll but this is where i caught the last one literally just trolling right here so i'm gonna cast these out a fair amount just so that the motor doesn't scare the fish away so keep that trolled nice nice far back behind the boat and just you know raw tip down and this is exactly how that striper hit i felt a couple of bumps i thought it might be structure and then all of a sudden we were on so we're gonna troll to another spot and then i uh, keep fishing there this tokyo rig is nice to troll too because i can feel the sinker just bouncing so i can tell kind of how fast it's going and you know that that's just really helpful being able to feel where your lure is and what it's doing will always help you out there's our bath swimming nicely so we just tied it on there so it bleeds out and uh, yeah you know just took his gills tied it on and that's probably one of the fastest ways of bleeding a fish tied onto the boat there you go he's on so i'm gonna pull in my line just so that they don't tangle but yeah that's a fish just trolled right here we're making our way to a new spot and just trolling See it, let's see it. Oh, that's a nice striper. Nice striper. Wow. Nice. Right. Nice right, fish number two. Nice. Down hit that small swim bait. Nice. Yep. Alright, that's fish number two on a smaller bait, but uh same same kind of color. So I'm gonna chuck this back out. We're gonna keep trolling. See if we can pick something else up. Get this thing back here. Yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. That's fucking crazy. That's super bro. I close. I almost lost my center. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, well, we were out there for a while more with not much luck, so we decided to come back in. We still got those two nice stripers, and uh, I got that one right on the Tokyo rig. So, you know, a great method of fishing for stripers out here in the sloughs. So, yeah, if you want to try it, if you want to check it out, uh, Fish Bob's uh, Instagram will be right down here. You can just DM him for for orders because i think it is a pretty cool way of catching some stripers so guys if you enjoyed this video i hope you did please like comment subscribe stay tuned there's gonna be much more coming until next time tight lines